This is a production of Florida State University. Coming up on FSU Headlines, Florida State University celebrates 20 years of art and architecture. The FSU Flying High Circus lights up the big top, and it's a homecoming celebration for all ages. All this and more next on FSU Headlines. Hello and welcome to another edition of FSU Headlines. I'm your host, Dennis Schnitker. We're broadcasting from the campus of Florida State University. This is where you can find some of the most beautiful and meaningful artwork and architecture on any college campus. Much of it thanks to the talented artists in Florida State's visionary program known as the Master Craftsman Studio. FSU Headlines master reporter Mark Vaughn has the story behind the studio. The stained glass windows in FSU's historic Dodd Hall, the bronze statues of university presidents on campus, the 12-foot university seal hanging from the ceiling of the Tucker Center during commencement. It's all crafted right here on FSU's campus. Master Craftsman Studio is an in-house design and fabrication studio that uh, was started here at Florida State University for the purposes of servicing Florida State University. It's a sculpture studio. It's an art studio. Uh, it is, to our knowledge, the only art studio like this in the nation. For the past 20 years, the FSU Master Craftsman Studio has added to the natural and architectural beauty of FSU's campus with handcrafted artistic pieces. And the university marked the studio's 20-year anniversary with a special celebration. Congratulations on the 20th anniversary. A champion of campus beautification, FSU President Emeritus Sandy Dallenberg established the Master Craftsman Studio in 1999. He imagined the studio creating a place or sense of place at FSU where world-class faculty and staff would want to live and study. And if anyone knows about the hard work and dedication it takes to bring that kind of artistic vision to life, it's the Master Craftsman Studio. It's mind-boggling. Over 20 years, how many things Master Craftsman has done that has truly considered, uh, contributed to uh, the beauty of our campus. A full in-house studio, it's the only university program of its kind in the United States. Since its inception, the Master Craftsman program has been hard at work fulfilling President Dallenberg's vision. When you come to a university like Florida State to study, there's a sense of, of being here that should be awe-inspiring. Now, there's thousands of options to go and get your higher education. And our goal here is not only to beautify our environment, but to really create a place that feels and looks like a place of higher education and higher purpose. The Master Craftsman Studio recently unveiled its latest work at Dot Hall, a new stained glass window commemorating the FSU Marching Chiefs. Student interns worked alongside professional artists during the meticulous, months-long process to fabricate this window. It's a tireless effort for a timeless piece. That's what Master Craftsman does and plans to continue doing for years to come. No one could tell our story better than the artists that are working here at Florida State University. And uh, just look at the impact on our campus. You can see artwork and learn more about the 20-year-old Master Craftsman Studio by visiting facilities.fsu.edu. For FSU Headlines, I'm Mark Vaughn. The Master Craftsman Studio recently unveiled some of its latest work during a dedication honoring scientific legend Sir Harold Croto. The world-class chemist was a Nobel laureate and a beloved member of the FSU community. To celebrate Sir Croto's life and legacy, the university dedicated the auditorium of the Chemical Sciences Laboratory in his honor. Watch this. Harry Croto was here at FSU for 10 years, Nobel Prize winner, knighted by the Queen of England for discovering a new form of carbon, carbon 60, buckyballs. It's a lovely tribute here today to an exceptional scientist and a wonderful man. Like many of you, I was simply awed by Harry. He was brilliant, he was kind, and he was incredibly generous with his time and talents. I'd like to ask Margaret to come forward to unveil the artwork in honor of Harry. Woo! <laughs> Well, 
Well, this is, this is an epic day for FSU and chemistry. I mean, having somebody of Harry's stature here at, as a faculty member is amazing. He inspired so many people, naming part of uh, the chemistry building after him is very special indeed. Harry will have a place in Tallahassee and at FSU forever. Did you know Florida State University's brightest undergraduate students conduct compelling research under the supervision of their professors? They also get the chance to share that research every year during the president's showcase of undergraduate research excellence. Check it out. But this is the cell layer. It's the 2019 President Showcase of Undergraduate Research Excellence. Tonight, all of our IDEA grant winners and Tech Fellow winners are sharing the hard work that they did over the summer on their summer research creative projects and the development of new or existing ideas. Congratulations to all of you all who are here tonight. And I'm so proud, honestly, of the work that you are doing. And it's going to make a difference. It's going to make a difference in your life, but in many other lives. I, I promise you that. Omina Imperium, which are omens of power. I would definitely recommend doing the Unidea grant. It was great to be able to work with both peers and faculty mentors uh, and gain that experience and that knowledge. Go to your professor and say, you know, where do I start? Apply for the IDEA grant, uh, apply to do your honors in the major thesis because there are so many ways that you can, um, I guess, get, get so much out of research here at FSU. Florida State University has world-class international programs and the leader of the programs reach out to students on campus for a glimpse of the educational adventures that await them overseas during the annual International Programs Study Abroad Fair. Today we're here at the Fall Study Abroad Fair. We have a lot of our program leaders, a lot of our overseas staff are in town, and they are here just to talk to students about their programs, about their study center locations, to give students an opportunity to connect with them, maybe get an idea of where they might want to go abroad, what opportunities we have here to offer. Our students get a better education, and part of it comes from this knowledge of other cultures in the world. We are not an island, we need to know other people. Even within the U.S., you're going to be meeting, working, negotiating, motivating people of other cultures. And by knowing those and by getting them into your education, you're going to be better prepared for the job and the work that you do in the future. I guess I could really summarize it with a lesson that I learned really from my travels, and it's that if you ever think that the world isn't offering you enough, it's probably because you haven't seen enough of the world. Well over a thousand students journey around the world each year to study with Florida State University. Our international programs consistently rank in the top 15 U.S. study abroad programs. And you can learn more all about it at international.fsu.edu. And there's still more to come on this edition of FSU Headlines, including a thrilling aerial and stage presentation. We want the show to, to run quickly. We want it to be quality. Um, and, and more importantly, you know, just as important, we want the audience to, to enjoy it and have fun, too. One of the only collegiate circus programs in the nation. We take you under the big top next on FSU Headlines. At Florida State University, we're proving that students from all walks of life can achieve at the highest levels. We're proving that intellect, creativity, service, and daring matter. We're proving the next generation can do more than dream of a better world. They can make it happen. We are Florida State University. When you buy a Florida State University license plate, you're not just showing your school spirit. You're supporting students like us. In the lab. In the classroom. And in the library. Putting this tag on your vehicle helps Florida State students achieve their dreams. So show your pride. Purchase an FSU license plate today.
Welcome back to Florida State University and FSU Headlines. I'm Dennis Schnitker. The nation's leading expert on the causes and prevention of suicide is being recognized for his groundbreaking work. Florida State's Robert O. Lawton Distinguished Professor of Psychology, Dr. Thomas Joyner, has been selected as a recipient of the 2020 James McKean Cattell Fellow Award. This prestigious award recognizes members of the Association of Psychological Science for a lifetime of outstanding contributions in psychology research. The award's very rewarding um, for decades, really, of, of hard work put in not just by me, uh, but by a team of, of people around me on suicide prevention. This is a, 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 a really profoundly tragic thing that befalls people, it befalls families, and, and so to, to have it recognized at this level means a lot. Joyner began his career in a relentless effort to understand and prevent suicide. Along the way, he's become a trailblazer in one of the most challenging areas in the psychology field. I think if it were not for our efforts, the rates would be more worrying still. Uh, and so our goal is to keep making a difference so that rates finally flatten out. And then once we get there, to keep going and to, and to drive them downward. Uh, hopefully as close towards zero as, as is at all possible. All of us can probably think of influential teachers we had growing up. They can be role models, counselors, mentors. Teachers change the lives of their students every day. And that's why Florida State University's College of Education is launching a new initiative called Elevate Ed. More than just a play on words, its mission is to provide better training, support and recognition for education professionals around the state. Uh, Project Elevate Ed is essentially designed to elevate the professions that are involved with uh, pre-K through 12 education. So that would involve teachers, principals, superintendents, uh, guidance counselors, uh, uh, school psychologists, coaches, athletic directors. All of those individuals have played key roles in the development of pre-K through 12 students and had the opportunity to uh, make life-altering uh, contributions to their education. Dean Andrew hopes Elevate Ed changes the narrative surrounding these high demand careers, especially here in Florida, because currently there seems to be more education jobs in the state than there are people to fill them. I think two alarming statistics that really prompted the up product Elevate Ed for us was uh, recent survey results indicated that high school seniors in Florida, only 3% of them said they would consider a career in pre-K through 12 education. And almost 20 years of survey data, this is the lowest that's on record. That was very alarming. Um, yet you combine that in January of 2019, uh, there were over 2,200 unfilled teacher positions in Florida. So we really felt that we were on the verge of a crisis in, in teacher education and making sure that we had enough support for the next generation of teachers. Dean Andrew is encouraged by the conversation starting in the Florida legislature about raising teacher salaries. He thinks the time is now to start critically examining the kind of support we provide education professionals, and he hopes other universities will follow FSU's lead in this effort. To learn more about Project Elevate Ed, visit education.fsu.edu. With faculty being so involved with their own teaching and research, it can be a challenge to meet colleagues outside of their areas or to even know where to look for them on campus. That's why FSU hosts Collaborative Collision, a networking event designed to bring researchers from across campus together to create unique collaborative research efforts. Watch this. Collaborative Collision is an event, this is probably our sixth one we've done, where we bring together faculty from all over campus, from dance to medicine, to come together to talk about um, topics that they have in common to see how they may be able to collaborate in research. It's kind of like speed dating, uh, where uh, you find out a lot about people in a small amount of time, so it's a very efficient way to, to find potential collaborators and interesting people that you'd like to know. It's really important to find people that have skills that you don't and build on each other's strengths. And it's, so it's super important and you never know what the outcome is going to be. Collaboration is important because the really big questions can't be answered by a single researcher or by a single discipline. It, it takes team science to, to answer the really big questions. I study sustainability, which crosses many disciplines, uh, many fields, is global in its scope, 
and uh, collaboration really is a necessity. Learning starts from the ground up, at least for those involved in FSU's seminal organic garden. Not only in addition to FSU's natural beauty, the garden provides a space for FSU students with a green thumb to grow their own fresh produce right on campus and learn about sustainability in the process. Take a look. This garden has been in this location since about ooh, 2014, 2015. We are here to help students and faculty and staff learn how to grow their own food. This is a great place to learn where your food comes from, how to grow it, what to do with it, and, and get creative with how you eat healthy, nutritious local food. We allow students to come out and rent beds, and in doing so, they can locally grow their own fruits and vegetables, and it's a part of our sustainable initiative in that way that it's locally grown and by our students. I think it's really enriching to be a part of the garden because you're getting to work side by side with people that you normally wouldn't interact with, especially knowing that like these are people who for maybe for the first time are gardening or have never had people in their family that garden. You're giving them an experience that they have yet to have in their life and I think that's really enriching and like fulfilling. This is amazing. Like to have this spot on campus and we can offer this as as a Inroad to people learning about sustainability, that was probably one of the most glorious days I've ever had here. And you can find out more about the special Seminole Organic Garden Workdays at sustainablecampus.fsu.edu. This next group of talented students practice and perform right next to the garden on the main campus at FSU. It's the FSU Flying High Circus. And these talented students were back under the big top this fall. Here's a behind the scenes look at their annual fall Halloween show. What is the FSU Flying High Circus? That's a uh pretty open-ended question, I think. Um, so the circus is a student uh, involvement activity. Uh, we have about 100 students in our program. Um, it's all extracurricular. It's a fully functional circus in a university setting. So it's pretty unique in that regard. Um, so we put on a full-scale uh, circus production comprised solely of college students. Call is about like three hours before the show, so we'll come set up the show, we call it rigging, we'll set up all the first acts, make sure everything's in its place, um, and then we'll go in, uh, the girls will do hair and makeup, the guys will comb their hair, I guess, um, and then we put our costumes on, and we all walk back here, and the show just kind of starts. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and The quality that we're able to achieve with, these, with the students who are not spending their whole day out here training, they're going to classes. There's no circus major or anything, you know, they're just, they're here on their off time to train uh, with their fellow students. And they take it seriously. It's not, you know, they're, they're trying to, to push themselves and um, put themselves in, in a lot of times, like putting their trust in another student. This is my fourth year in circus. Um, and I think, you know, I've grown in my ability, but also mentally just having to work through the human fears that come with doing some of the things that we're doing. And it really teaches you a lot about yourself and working with others. And I think it's just really cool to be just a little part of like a much bigger production. So many people working hard on it and it becomes something, something cool. We have five full-time staff, um, and we have about 100 students, and we run a full circus production and in a house that can seat 1,300 people. It's us in Illinois State are one of the programs, our only programs in the United States that have uh, have a circus program. We have a big top, which makes us even more unique. It's a, it's a pretty much a defining feature of our program. Putting on a circus performance anyway is kind of unique. That, um, don't see a lot of them anymore. And uh, we have a real opportunity to, to present uh, a special kind of show and a unique kind of show um, and showcase the students as well. It's just something you, again, you don't see, like someone swinging from a trapeze, someone jumping over a jump rope and doing flips in it or juggling. It's just, there's an art form to it and it's definitely learnable, but I think it's something the everyday person doesn't have access to. And it's, it, I don't know, it's just magical. <laughs> Can't explain magic, I guess. <laughs> the Flying High Circus will be performing their 73rd annual home show series in the spring. You can visit circus.fsu.edu for more information. And still to come on FSU Headlines, we'll head to the gridiron and the hardwood. Wait on three. One, two, three. Wait. <laughs> 
Florida State Seminoles are in action all over campus. Sports is next on FSU Headlines. Hello and welcome back to FSU Headlines. I'm Mark Vaughn with a quick look at sports at Florida State University. We start with the soccer team and a big senior season for Dana Castellanos. The Florida State Seminoles soccer team came into this season with all the pressure of the college soccer world on its shoulders. The team, the reigning ACC and national champions, and they brought a wealth of talent back. That includes senior international star Dana Castellanos. They've lived up to the hype and expectations this season, finishing a close second in the regular season standings in the ACC before starting the postseason with a home win against Clemson in the ACC quarters. Dana Castellanos leading the team in goals this season with 11 goals scored, adding nine assists along the way. The team also very good at home this year with a 10 and one mark heading into the deep ACC tournament. One of the stars on this year's team alongside Dana Castellanos is Jenna Nicewanger, and she's just a freshman. Seminole Productions sat down with her to talk about her first year here at FSU. A talented starting freshman, Jenna Nicewanger has been getting her kicks playing soccer since she wasn't much bigger than the ball. Um, I started playing when I was three years old in a rec league near my house, and I just liked scoring goals and playing with my friends. I went into club soccer around nine years old and played a few years up, so I started to get serious about soccer and knew that it was something I wanted to do for a while. While playing in her hometown in Huntington Beach, California, numerous NCAA programs scouted her developing talent, including Florida State. Well, you know, my assistant Mike Bristol identified Jenna a number of years ago. Uh, she was a young player at the time, and uh, uh, we're out um, watching different games and came across the field where she was playing. And, was so impressed with her uh, qualities with the ball and uh, her mentality as well. Um, it didn't take him long to kind of get hooked on her and come back and start talking nice about her. Nice denied for one, not twice. Nice longer, cuts to her left, puts it away. Right back, getting forward, got the cross in, it ran through. I wanted to look at what was the best soccer school and where I could improve the most and reach my full potential. And I think Florida State is the best place for me to do that. She's very talented, hardworking, and she can really achieve anything that she puts her mind to. Yeah, we've seen it here already at Florida State where um, you know, she's a big time player, a big time goal scorer, and she uh, typically is scoring the goals when they matter the most. At only 18 years old, Jen has already proven her abilities as an offensive player. The Florida State soccer staff and team are giving her all the tools she needs to take her game to the next level. Um, I think that Jenna has big aspirations in the game. Well, Jenna could have gone to any school she wanted to, and the fact that she chose to come here to Florida State uh, probably speaks uh, uh, very favorably about our team and our program. Um, she has potential to really tap into all different kinds of levels. I mean, professionally, national team. Uh, here she's a versatile player. She's two-footed. She can score goals. She can uh, create goals for her teammates. She makes all of her teammates better. She has great qualities, and you know, she's energetic, and she's just fun to be around. I think that uh, her future is very bright, and uh, with her here, our future is pretty bright, too. I mean, just do what you're passionate about. I'm really passionate about soccer, so it's like fun to play every day. And I think if someone has that same passion for it, I guess, just like go after it and like do whatever you can to get to where you want to go with it. Nicewanger is eager to help the Knowles win another trophy and go all the way again this year. I'm Ali Rubenstein for Knowles All Access. Okay, on to the volleyball court and the Knowles looking like a contender in the ACC after wins at home on the road later in this season. The team recently taking down Miami in a big rivalry matchup that was at home, final three to one. Then they were on the road to pick up wins against Virginia Tech and High Point to push their record to a very respectable 16 and six overall and nine and three in the ACC. 
The Knolls coming off a playoff season just a year ago and quickly building the program into a contender in one of the toughest conferences in the nation for women's volleyball. You can see all their remaining schedule on Seminoles.com. Okay, that's going to do it for sports here on FSU Headlines, but you can keep up with all things Seminole Athletics by visiting Seminoles.com. Dennis, we'll send it back to you. All right, Mark, thanks for that update. We end now with a look back at this year's homecoming activities at Florida State University. Spark Your Spirit was the theme, and it certainly fit the festivities. More than 60 student groups made their way down College Avenue for the annual homecoming parade. Check it out. All right, that's going to do it for this edition of FSU Headlines. But you can see more news from Florida State anytime on the university's official news website, news.fsu.edu. For everyone here at Florida State University, I'm Dennis Schnitker. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.